Hello everyone. I am Captain Project Helisexuality, bringing you part 3 of my Kasatka Submarine Guide. If you haven't seen parts 1 and 2, I suggest you watch them. They covered the main threats to the submarine, as well as how best to use the Kasatka's weapons. In this video, we will see how it all works together in action, covering general use of the Kasatka, strategy and techniques. We will cover using the submarine on your own. Though I'll start with having two people. It's a more simple process, and it's where the Kasatka is at its most effective. One player should be at the helm, to pilot the submarine. The other, at the guided missile station. As pilot at the helm, your main objective is simply to stay underwater whenever possible, surfacing only for your friend to fire a guided missile, and quickly submerging afterwards. Communication is useful here. You can't hear it, but Cabbage was telling me when to surface through his mic. It's easier with voice chat of course, though the player on the missiles could also send quick missile or GDM texts, or really any code settled on. The ability to submerge after firing guided missiles is a huge bonus for submarines with two players. Sadly, at the time of editing this no solo method exists. As pilot, the safety of the submarine is in your hands. Keep an eye on the mini-map, and stay deep underwater if there are threats nearby, even if it means a guided missile can't be fired. Pick your moments wisely. If you bought the sonar station upgrade, activate it by clicking the right stick. This will reveal other underwater Cossatkas, which would otherwise be off the radar. Staying on the move, and surfacing in various different locations, this can help to confuse the enemy. When using the submarine by yourself, the previous tactics apply. However, thanks to the inability to submerge after firing a guided missile, a few extra tricks are needed, and you have to exercise much more caution. While you can't submerge after firing a missile, you can limit the amount of time you spend above water as much as possible. For example, when you leave the helm to access the guided missile station, the submarine will automatically surface. If the submarine surfaces too quickly, you may be left above water and vulnerable while waiting through loading screens, as seen here. So, we instead make sure the Kasatka surfaces slowly. This can be done by diving as deeply as possible, increasing the time it takes for the submarine to reach the water's surface. This effectively allows you to fire a guided missile the moment your Kasatka surfaces. It's a few less seconds of vulnerability, which can make all the difference.
You can also use this in combination with Lester's off the radar. This way, you can sometimes carry out a guided missile strike, and get back underwater before you even appear on the map. What do you need exactly? I can do it briefly. You have to be even more vigilant watching your map. Since you have to switch seats to go underwater, you have less time if someone decides to attack. I'll be looking at my map while controlling the missile. I also respond to potential threats much earlier than I would if I had another player at the helm. For example, I've previously nuked this player. I have to assume his jet is intended for me, and dive back down underwater. If you don't think you can make it to safety in time, remember, fast travel is essentially an ace up your sleeve. You wish to set course, Captain? One simple, but overlooked way of giving yourself more time to react, is by staying as far away as the missile range will let you. If you have to move further out in the ocean to do this, that can be worth it. There'll also be less submarines spawning around you out here, and less players willing to go that far on their Mark IIs. I wish there was more I could fill this video with. I was hoping perhaps some solar method of submerging after firing a guided missile would come out. If something like that is discovered, I will make another video to cover it. I'll finish this final video with two more tricks. This one is simple, and seen often in the comments of my submarine videos. You can park your cassette connects to your yacht, and turn on your yacht's air defenses. This will strike down attacking Mark II's etc., as well as defend against missiles. 
Personally, I don't like to rely on this. I find my air defenses often deactivate for seemingly no reason. It doesn't feel reliable to me. Another trick is that of going into the Merryweather docks. Here, you have a roof to protect you from orbital strikes, jets and so on. Despite protecting you, it doesn't seem to stop your missiles from passing through the roof. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this guide series of videos useful.